What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today I'm back with another love video yes 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 it's on love finally valentine's day is over <laughs> still love is in the air right okay so today's video is how to know if somebody is our soulmate <laughs> so somebody asked me this question straight and then I thought, yes, yes, yes. So why not make a video on this? All right. I hope many of you also would have been wondering that, oh, I am with this person. I am with that person. But are we soulmates or are we not? Okay. So if you are interested to know if you are soulmates or not, then please watch this video till the end. All right. And uh, this is uh, also valid if you are not married or if you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend because soulmate necessarily doesn't uh, always mean your partner. Your father could be your soulmate, your mother also, your sister, your daughter, your son, anybody. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, these 10 points which I have made. This is general for anybody. Yes, even your friend or your best friend or your enemy also could be your soulmate. All right, so that's what uh, I will start. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it somewhere here, there below. And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website. And in my website, I have a soulmate reading. <laughs> well, you can know where you, when you can meet your soulmate. Okay, so if you want to know when you can meet your soulmate, then please approach me through my website there. And that is all god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will show you who your true soulmates are <laughs> all right so let's start so what's uh, the first indication that somebody can be your soulmate yes and as i said your mother your father anybody could be your soulmate not only your husband or your wife so what's the first thing 10 points the first point is you don't feel the need to impress him or her yes should i repeat you don't feel the need to impress that person yes <laughs> which means you are totally convinced that the person will like you for who you are basically yes or he will he or she will not like you for uh, who you pretend to uh, be who you are who you are actually not but he will like you for who you are actually yes so if that is the case, then uh, you don't need to impress. Yes, because when you try to impress somebody, what you are trying to do, you are trying to raise your standard because you are convinced that my standard is not very high as per their expectation. So when I'm not there, I'm here. So I have to go there. Yes. So that means you're convinced that there's something missing in me. There's something lacking in me. I'm less than what that person needs or what that person wants. So if that is the case, uh, then uh, we will always have this uh, fight going on inside us. Yes, yes, yes. I want, I want to be like that person, like that person who she wants me to be or he wants me to be. So if you have given up that quest to be somebody else or to be somebody who the, the other person wants you to be other than yourself, then probably that person is your soulmate yes what's the next symptom that somebody is your soulmate the next symptom is you feel at home when you are with them yes you may stay in a jail or you may stay in a hotel you may stay in a bungalow you may stay anywhere <laughs> but the moment you are with that person you you feel as if i have come home like recently, I was in India and I was in Delhi there. So I met one of my friend. He is also from Assam. He's a Bengali. His name is Roni Saha. So very soon I'll be inviting him to my channel also. So finally, when I met him after so long, I felt I've come home. <laughs> so when I met him, I felt there's, there's, there's something like home sort of a thing. Yes, which is not there with anybody else. Maybe it's there with many people, but for this person, it will be there. So you feel comfortable, you feel at ease, you feel everything is the way it should be. There, there's nothing wrong. It's exactly the way it should be. Okay. So then you understand that you are at home and probably that person is your soulmate. 
what's the third symptom that somebody is your soulmate you are at your best when you are with them okay so the other person always brings the best in yourself yes suppose uh, there's a friend who is a probable soulmate then that person when you meet them they'll not be discussing about which cricketer is getting married to which film star such useless rubbish garbage debates and discussions which will never give you fulfillment but instead they will be asking us oh what are you doing now what's your hobby have you learned the mridangam have you learned the harmonium have you done this have you done that yes he or she will always try to uplift you they will always try to make you the best version of yourself should i repeat they will always try to make you the best version of what you can suppose you know how to paint then that person will be asking you again and again have you painted have you done this or have you not <laughs> if you have not then that person will be pushing it do it do it do it. because because that person is your greatest well wisher and that person knows that you have the potential yes and if that person sees that you are not utilizing your potential properly that person will take a rod and run after you <laughs> okay so if that is the case then you are with the right person you are with your soulmate so they are trying to bring the best out in you yes what's the next thing that proves that that person may be your soulmate you do away with looks money power position name fame authority etc that means external things don't matter yes even if the person is not that great to look i am still with that person even if that person is not having much money i am still with that person yes even if that person is not very influential or affluential i am still with that person who is the perfect example for this sita devi from ramayan she is the perfection of all feminine qualities when lord ram was banished for 14 years in exile to the forest by kk then what happened sita devi could have said oh you go i will stay here i will enjoy in the palace she could have said that in fact lord ram said to her that you have been born and brought up in a palace it is not possible for you to handle all this turmoil of the forest as in hindi this na jhel nahi paoge aap aapke liye jhelna possible nahi it's not possible for you to tolerate all this na difficulties of the forest so you stay here i will go because i have been banished not you okay but then sita devi said no do hell with your ideals <laughs> i will go that's it i have decided so when lord ram was reduced to a penniless beggar a penniless pauper she was still sticking to him yes so she did not let the status of lord ram come in the way of her relationship with lord ram so that proves that they are soulmates so if uh, you also behave like that with that person suppose now uh, that person used to look very great once upon a time yes in their youth but now they are not looking that great but you are still sticking to them then probably they are your soulmates <laughs> okay what's the next thing uh, uh number 5 people say that you are like soulmates yes so this is not the facebook people okay where where you are posting selfies and everybody is like oh these two are like soulmates basically what i mean to say is you both have stayed and you both have gone through all the horrible experiences all the difficulties turmoils pain sorrow suffering and then still you are sticking together and then people say that oh my goodness so many things happened but you are still together you both suppose you're fighting with your mother always but still you are sticking and everybody says my goodness how are they still together <laughs> then probably your mother is your soulmate okay so this applies for everybody as i said what's the next thing that proves that that person is your soulmate ah number 6 you do great things together yes now individually you do good things but when you both do things together 
it doesn't uh, stay too good only it becomes great it becomes fantastic it becomes wonderful it becomes mind blowing it becomes out of the universe yes so suppose uh, you know to cook something yes and then that person also comes then you cook something which everybody says my god bomb for the aaj <laughs> you have blasted a bomb today <laughs> so everybody knows that when you both combine when you two come together there is magic there's there's a blast like which is never ever to be seen in any other place yes if that is the case then probably you both are soulmates yes it can be with anybody yes so what's the next thing that says that you may be soulmates ha ah, number 7 you can easily keep them yes which means you are not very concerned that that person will uh, leave me or i have to keep maintaining my relationship with them now this doesn't mean that you take them cheaply i'm not saying that but i'm saying that suppose you see their message that they have messaged you and you are busy and now you are not replying so you don't get into anxiety that my god what will happen if i don't message that that this girl or that boy they will feel i don't care for them okay or they will feel bad oh my goodness what will happen then you don't you take anxiety and you re- reply to them you respond to them even if when you are not feeling like because you are busy with something uh, which is very important at the current moment but you are not like that you know okay he has messaged okay i'll message him later not a problem you 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 know that that person knows that you will never take them cheaply yes so if you are not replying it is not because that you don't care about them but it is simply because that you are busy and you know that they know this thing about you so then you are least concerned okay they messaged me even if i am busy now i will reply them later okay now this can go on the other extreme where you are taking people cheaply that's not the case here but basically you should not have any anxiety to maintain the relationship it should be like a natural free flowing relationship yes so when you have time peacefully you reply and that person also doesn't say oh you have replied me late or you understand there's no performance anxiety in the relationship so if that is the case you can keep them very easily yes and they can also do the same with you then probably you are soulmates now what's the next thing you know they are always there for you you can always count on them you can always rely on them you can you can always depend on them irrespective of whatever happens i mean unless there are some extreme situations yes in general you know they you can always depend on them you can always count on them yes so basically they are the first ones who come to your head whenever there is some problem yes whenever you are in distress you always remember them because they are like your saviors <laughs> and you are also like their saviors yes when they are in distress they call you first and when you are in distress you call them first so if uh, that is happening here then probably you are soulmates yes because you both totally depend on each other which is fantastic actually what's the ninth thing that shows that probably you are soulmates the ninth thing is your fights are very superficial yes oh my goodness you're fighting <laughs> you're fighting but your fights are very superficial there's there's the you don't take grudge and there's no negativity you understand suppose there's some disagreement you fight you quarrel you yell at each other you shout you blast on each other next moment it's gone <laughs> you you don't keep quoting like a lawyer like uh, so ladies in india i have seen no offense against them but since i am from india and i would like to take this liberty to tell this i have seen them suppose their husband has done something okay then they will say 3288 days back which is roughly maybe 9 years <laughs> 9 years back on 9th may 2001 my goodness exactly you did this <laughs> <laughs> like a lawyer you are going on quoting dates times and references and proving that the other person is more of a criminal even men i have seen doing that yes oh she did this then now again she is doing this so you don't hold on to grudges you don't hold on to negativity you don't you 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 are like very forgiving with them yes 
even if that person has done something very bad you understand that it's not they who have done it it's time <laughs> all right so now it doesn't mean that you uh, let them continue like that it's not like that but uh, in general your fights are very superficial i mean you you, you rarely fight first of all but even if you fight uh, the uh, the fight is like just 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 for fun you are fighting now and even if it's a serious fight it doesn't last last, last much long you don't get into uh, quarreling and you don't get into you you, do, you don't uh, go and gossip about that person to somebody else yes you don't go and speak negatively about that person for that fight which he or she had with you to somebody else but if suppose you are doing like that you had a fight with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend and then you were going on talking with other members of the opposite sex oh my boyfriend is like this my girlfriend is like this then probably you are not so nice but if your fights are very superficial today you fight and tomorrow as if you never fought then probably you are so nice all right and what's the last thing that shows probably you to our soulmates you accept them with their flaws should i repeat you accept them with their flaws and they also accept you with your flaws you don't try to change them you only try to improve them should i repeat you don't try to change them you only try to improve them which means you like the way they are you like the way they are behaving yes but you also want that they improve not because you want them to improve but you would like if they improve their own lives that's for their sake yes and at the same time currently whatever flaws and faults and discrepancies and shortcomings they are having you accept them for for what they are for who they are yes you don't keep nagging them by saying oh you should change this then only i will do this you should change that only then this will happen no you are not like that yes so if you are visiting somebody and all the time the person is going on saying you that oh this is wrong about you don't do this this is not right this is bad you should do this oh uh. <laughs> that probably you are in the wrong place yes so uh, you you are totally secure around that person you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you like basically that that proves that shows that probably you are soulmates <laughs> yes so if these symptoms are manifesting i will just uh, go through it uh, again uh, the first is you don't feel the need to impress them that means you are totally convinced that i am at the level at which they want me to be yes i am not low and i don't need to raise my standard artificially i don't need to cook up stories and say lies to impress that person to get that person yes like the other day uh, Uh, one girl was telling me that she went to date a boy and that boy was telling her actually this girl she uh, has a lot of experience in kundalini awakening and all and all this but the boy didn't know this all right so the boy thought i will speak some stories to impress her okay and then uh, this boy uh, when they went to date uh, this boy started telling her oh you know in 2009 i had a kundalini awakening i had i had a divine experience but this foolish fellow doesn't know that she already knows everything what happens when kundalini is awakened what happens when all, all, all those things so he was trying to raise his standard artificially by cooking up stories and phantasmagoria related things which actually ha- had never happened with him yes so when you don't do all those you just be yourself and you are totally convinced that i don't need to do anything extra i just need to be myself and then this person will accept me then your soulmates the second one you feel at home you feel at ease you feel very comfortable around them yes you are at your best when you are with them yes so they always want that you become the best version of yourself and for that they will hit you they will scold you they will prick they will pinpoint at your faults and they will tell you that you need to get away with these wrong habits which you have yes so that you can become your best version and the next is you do away with looks money power name fame post position etc okay you do not focus on externals you only focus on what's inside all right people say that you are both like soulmates after they have seen that you have 
caused over so many difficulties, hurdles, and challenges. So people tell that maybe you are like soulmates. You do great things together. When you two combine, there is like bomb blast. <laughs> Especially it happens in my case with some people I meet, and uh, then <laughs> so what's the next thing? You can keep them easily. You don't have to. Go into maintenance or performance anxiety. Oh my God, what will happen if I don't reply? It's okay, man. Even if I don't reply now, it's fine. He will understand. You know that they are always there for you, and you are always there for them. Okay, so you can perfectly count on each other. They are the first person uh, who come to your mind when there is some trouble, and they are also the first who come to your mind when you want to share something. good which has happened all right so good or bad they are always your saviors they save you when you are in trouble and they increase your happiness multi million times when you have something good and you when you share it with them yes your fights are very superficial number 9 you you fight today and tomorrow you are like nothing happened <laughs> and the last is you accept them with their flaws all right you don't try to change them you only want that they improve themselves not because you want them to improve or you want them uh, you want a better person but you want them to have a good life and you want that they become their greatest version of who they are yes they enhance their potential to the best possible capacity for that you want that they should uh, uh try to improve them and not because of who you want them to be yes so these are the 10 symptoms that somebody is your soulmate yes so it can be man woman your son your mother your father your daughter maybe the beggar in the street or maybe the conductor in the bus or maybe the pilot who is taking you from frankfurt to delhi okay that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website and if you want to know when you will meet your soulmate then also you can approach me through my website the link is there and that is all i would say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you understand if that person who is staying with you is your soulmate or not <laughs> okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you oh yeah and please click the thumbs up if you like this video and share it with somebody who is confused should i marry this person or that person or he or she doesn't know if that person is the soulmate okay or if they are searching for ideal qualities of a soulmate okay they will love this video okay bye bye see you